Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. While Anime Studio Debut 9 makes animation accessible and easy to learn, things can be a little bit overwhelming when starting a new piece of software. If you're finding the tools on the left side here to be a bit confusing, you're not sure what they all do, you can simply click on the Beginner's Mode button at the top right. You also have the ability to select this mode when the program launches. Now don't worry, you can go back to Standard Mode at any time by simply clicking on the button again. Once in Beginner Mode, you'll notice that the left side changes to Beginner's Mode Tools. Basically, the icons get bigger and you have less tools to worry about, which allows you to take in the important tools that Anime Studio Debut has to offer. On top of that, when you scroll over each tool, you'll get a description of what it does on the bottom of the toolbar. Finally, some tools allow you to view tutorial videos on them so that you can get a better grasp of what they do. So all you have to do is click that video button and it will launch. And that's all there really is to it. Beginner mode is great for beginners who are new to animation or anime studio in general. And once you are familiar with the main tools, you can go back to standard mode and learn about the advanced tools that the software has to offer. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. Also, if you need more information, be sure to check out the Anime Studio website. Keep an eye out for more Anime Studio tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.